Hi, I'm Tina. I'm Ross. And we're back in Grass Valley today. They are supposed to have some events for St. Perrin's Day. If you watched our other video on Grass Valley, you probably saw us eat pasties here in Grass Valley. They have a long history of Cornish immigrants because of the gold mines here. So we are back today to check out St. Perrin's Day activities. And we've had beautiful weather here in California for like the past month, like in the 70s. And right now it's snowing. We're at about the 2,400 foot elevation right now. So we're a little bit higher than where we normally live. So that's why we're getting a little snow today. And it's, it's pretty chilly, but it's supposed to go on rain or shine. So stay tuned and we will check things out. Association in the Greater Grass Valley Chamber of Commerce, the city of Grass Valley, but most importantly, the Cornish community of Grass Valley, we welcome you to the return of St. Peter's Day!
and calmed the Irish Sea. And the millstone happened to be made of pumice. <laughs> <laughs> and Pyrrhon himself floated to the top, sitting upon the pumice. And as he drifted away, waved farewell to Ireland. <laughs> without raising a glass of whiskey that he had taken with him from the pub. <laughs> Floated across the Irish Sea to the western shores of Britain, landing upon what is now known as Perrinport Beach. And that is where he was washed ashore. And through the miraculous work of the Lord, he set up his first chapel where today, on this very day, March 5th, they too are celebrating the great St. Piran as we do here in Grass Valley. And he went on to live a miraculous life, living legendarily until well into his 200s. <laughs> and you wonder why, why the flag of St. Piran in the black base with the white cross. Legend would have it, imagine that. There was drinking involved. <laughs> Pyrrhon himself drank so much one night in his stone chapel there on Perrinport that he built a raging fire and the shale top mantle of his fireplace grew so hot that the tin within the ore floated to the top and spread out across the black, forming a white cross, which we now look at right on our wall today. And that is why we are here. Legendary. <laughs> the Cousin Jack from the Casting Company. What do you think? It is delicious. Uh, it is full of meat and potatoes, turnips, uh, full of flavor. The crust is very flaky, very hot on a cold day like this. It was snowing earlier, so this is a nice treat to have afterwards. Yeah, I don't know if you can see the steam coming off of that, but... But this is very tasty. It is. Yeah. And... If you remember from our last video, when we brought home what we thought was the Cousin Jack, it was the veggie, yes. we let them know about it and they kindly gave us this one for free. Cool. So that was really fantastic of yes. them. So thumbs up to those guys. Very nice. And it is delicious. So, madam, what do you think? This is really good, especially on such a cold, cold day. And... Yeah, so this is supposed to be the most traditional one that they have, the Cousin Jack. I think we mentioned it had the, the skirt steak, the potatoes, onions, and turnips. Yes. So, yeah, really happy to be able to try this. And we also picked up another one. Is it, they said not traditional, but it's the Philly cheese steak, I think is what they Right. It. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, so we're going to try that one later because I think this will be enough to fill both of us up. <laughs>